Oh, what an epic fail. I once again go, oh, there we go. One down. One down. Good evening and welcome back to another one. This one's going to be a great one, I hope. It is the end of September, which means it's fall, and which also means waterfowl season is open here in Ontario. We're in the blind. Got the uh, 12 gauge set up. Now we're expecting them to come from down there or down here. You guys may or may not have seen this spot last year, but I can tell you I got to walk I'm over there where them grain bins are. So I got to walk maybe 300 meters to get to the blind. And I kicked up probably no less than a dozen wood ducks on the way down here. So that's a good sign, but those ones know I'm here. So I got no decoys. Obviously, I'm not wearing any camo today. The blind keeps you pretty secluded in here unless they're flying high, but I'm not expecting them to be high because it's early season. They really haven't been shot at a whole lot. So after about a month, They'll be running up with the 747s, but for now, they're going to be pretty low. Let me get finished getting set up here, and then uh, we'll see what happens. we got about two and a half hours till dark. So for those of you that are not familiar with waterfowl hunting in Ontario, I'm not sure what it's like in the States. It could be the same, but here, you got to use steel shot. Now, I've got two guns that I use for duck hunting. One is an antique. It is two and three quarter inch only. Uh, this one right here goes up to three inch so i only buy the two and three quarter because for some reason if this one here decides it doesn't want to cooperate that day then uh, i'm down to two and three quarter but i've only got three inch shells i don't know that's my logic in it these are imperial number fours all steel and uh, we're gonna get set up here drink our coffee and wait on the ducks all right we got some geese that are thinking again you focus on them and you're gonna miss. They are high. They are real high. We're gonna let them go on by. Then we're gonna bark at them again. We got a group of four about to exit behind them trees over there and another group of about 20 behind them. <laughs> I think one of them just shot me in the middle finger. Like I said before, our goal is to get a couple to break off.
I don't know how well this GoPro is picking it up, but the sky is just littered with geese over here. I mean hundreds, if not thousands. Like I said before, our goal is to get a couple to break off. Alright, we're done playing with the geese. That's five wood ducks have gone by and I ain't shot a thing. And they didn't even cut the corner here. They just come right up the alley and made a right. We're done playing with the geese. We just there to cause a distraction. Well guys, we are quickly running out of daylight. I guess we're about to find out how well these GoPros do in low light. We got maybe 15 20 minutes left I got bamboozled flat out bamboozled by some geese if I go home with nothing it's gonna be a pizza night you gotta be facing the right direction at the right time Shot a blackbird. Get a little jumpy. Oh, what an epic fail. I once again go. Oh, there we go. One down. Hopefully the camera picked that up. I'm just about to say epic fail and uh, here he comes. One shot. Now out here one thing you do have to do, do have to do, okay do have to do, when they go by you like that you can't just give up on them and turn your back and go back to the front here because they will circle around the back and come back in. Now, we got corn over here, so they're not going to land there just yet, but when that corn comes off, they're going to be wanting to get in there. But again, so you'll see me keep looking back because they will circle, not say a word, and come up behind you and you get caught with your pants down. Well, I'll take my pants down in the blind, but you know what I'm getting at. Oh, he just dove one. Oh, there he is. We're two for two. Jesus. So much for that epic fail. There we go, a bunch. They were too far away. Those five cut the corner. He's still flying. Things seem to have picked up just a little bit. I 
go. That's a hard no. <laughs> Clearly, uh, somebody needs to work on their uh, shooting a little bit. I mean, I went two for two, then I just kind of fell apart after that. I think we may be packing it up for the night. It's starting to get dark. Hang on. Yeah, I suck. See you, boys. We're empty. I was about 15 that just went by there. Jesus, Murphy. I guess we can't pack it in just yet, boys. Well, things have kind of picked up here just before dark. I've got the other two marked that are down. Well, they're a long way away, those guys. Here we go, here we go. Come on, fellas. Five. So you only get one rip at them. Here they go. You only get one rip at them. And then they have turned and gone up over the beans. And then they end up in the farmer's field over that way. So we already got quite a walk to get the two that we had. They never want to land in your lap. They always want to land as far away as they can. Do another couple minutes and I think we're gonna pack it in. They're cutting a the corner. There goes four of them cutting the corner. But right now it's getting a little hard to see them. So I think we're gonna pack up and call it a night. Not a bad night. I thought it was going to be a complete epic failure, but we got two. One there and one over there. All right. That's going to do it. I hope you all can see me. Uh, we're going to do a long walk ahead of us to go pick them up. And we'll get back to you in a minute. All right, guys. We made our way back to the truck. After about an hour of looking, I got one. I did not get the second one. Uh, my guess is that it uh, swam on down the creek in the dark when I couldn't see it. For obvious reasons, I'm not going to show the uh, catch here. Um, we all know what happens with outdoor channels. They're not uh, too fond of. Well, right at dark there. I'm going to guess probably about 80 of them came through. And uh, after getting bamboozled a couple times by the geese, and I should know better, we ended up we ended up with some dinner anyway that's all i got for today's video i hope you all enjoyed that something a little different hunting season is here uh deer season is going to be in a well next week i think deer season opens and uh we might bring some of that to you as well anyway hit that subscribe button while you're here uh we all know that uh, like i said a lot of uh platforms shall we say don't like this type of content but i like to bring it to you anyway thank you all and always remember Get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Later. Ah!